Hi. In this video, I'm going to talk about nucleophilic addition of aldehydes and ketones, focusing on other nitrogen, other nitrogen nucleophiles. Uh, this video is part of uh, a series uh, of videos on amines, and, and so, so this fits right in here. Um, there's a compound out there called hydroxylamine. It's an NH2 uh, with an, an OH attached to it. And uh, ketones and aldehydes can react with, with hydroxylamine uh, to form a kind of compound called an oxime. Let's, 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 uh, here, you know, let's do this ketone. We're going to use hydroxylamine. Reaction in an uncertain. Well, I've used I've used hydroxylamine, but uh, hydroxylamine can be can be toxic, and if you concentrate it, it's explosive. Uh, but you know, heat it up, acid water, do some sort of appropriate workup to deal with the, you know, deal with assuming the unreacted hydroxylamine, and you can get things that look like this. And this thing is called an oxime. Right. Um, oxines themselves are, are sort of a, an interesting class of compound in that they can undergo rearrangements to, to amides. That's a thing called the uh, Beckman rearrangement. It's one of the Beckman rearrangements. Uh, and I'm not going to talk about that mechanism or the regioselectivity, uh, but there certainly are uh, regioselectivity issues. I happen to have chosen a, a case where there's a, a methyl group on one side and a uh, hydrogen on the other. And generally, I feel that probably, or I'm sorry, not a hydrogen, a methyl group on the other, I feel that probably the amide is going to end up with the nitrogen facing the uh, cyclohexyl ring, but I'm not 100% sure of that. There we go. Uh, and then there is hydrazine. Hydrazine is a nitrogen with another nitrogen attached to it. Um, uh, you know, let's do an aldehyde. Let's say you're doing an aldehyde. This reaction behaves very similar. And in fact, you can really just think of hydrazine and uh, hydroxylamine as special cases of the uh, primary amine. You know, it's just a different group on the amine. You form this thing called a hydrozone. Uh, your other, you know, hydrozones are whole class of compounds uh, that are that are out there. Uh, you can have substituted hydrozones, if, you know, on, on a popular ones were like phenyl and dinitrophenyl hydrozones um, that were used in qualitative tests for uh, aldehydes and ketones because they formed nice red precipitates. Uh, but generally, uh, they've been, those methods have been supplanted in a lot of cases by spectroscopy, but they're still used in, in some applications. Uh, and, and there are other der derivatives of hydrazine. So like there's a, this, if they have a hydrazine amide, you form something called a semicarbazide. The next video, I'm going to talk about uh, another application of hydrazones, uh, and that's the Wolf-Kishner reduction. Uh, it has a lengthy mechanism, so it's going to get an entire video to itself. Thank you for watching.